in January uh, 2007, had the opportunity to become a professional with the Boy Scouts of America. You're thinking, okay, professional BSA, how does that work? I was a professional with the focus in terms of the development of the program in a certain area. Body language and working with volunteers, donors, community leaders, etc., became very important. Especially as a 23-year-old, fresh out of college, you get pretty much labeled of, oh, I got a kid your age, or I know, uh, or you know, I'm, I'm, I'm three times your age, or what have you. Commonly got, got that in terms of my first two, three, four months in the program as a professional. Soon learned the importance of body language, language itself, and how to do presentations, etc. Thought I had become somewhat of a, um, just slightly above a, a novice in that, and became a master in terms of working with adults relate, and relating, uh, I would say older adults, meaning the, we have youth and adults, so we commonly label the, the leaders, the adult leaders, adults in the program, and getting accomplished what I needed to get accomplished. So a few years later, I transitioned out of uh, the nonprofit world into uh, graduate school with, a, with the goal of getting a, a master's degree in healthcare administration. Succeeded into the healthcare world. My first job in, in healthcare did a fairly good job of communicating with my staff. Was able to transition from one from one organization from one organization to the next. Had an opportunity to, for a better opportunity. Took it. Thought I had become an expert in body language and in communication. Soon learned that each, each, in the, each situation, each circumstance, each culture has its own challenges. When I first started, I had started off with my usual communication of, hey, let's get this done, here's our goals, here's what, here's what we're doing. The first 45, 60 days, I thought I was doing fine. Sat down with my boss for my 60 day review. She said, hey Daniel, we have some problems. I'm like, okay, well, probably new view problems, new to the organization, no worries. Well, found out that my staff was reading my body language completely the opposite of what I was saying. Meaning I was sitting here and trying to be friendly, well, they were taking that as being nosy, okay? And I was uh, interested in what was going on and, and, and beyond work was, uh, was accused of, being, of spying and being, uh, I guess, kind of the same thing of being friendly, but uh, just being overly concerned with, with things that shouldn't be my concern. And there were several other feedback that I got, so I was like, well, I am, I'm, in a, I'm in a hole that I ne have not been in before. In previous circumstances, I have gotten great feedback of body language and communication skills, etc. And now, I am told, basically, I lived the way I read it was, I suck. I need to fix it. Well, soon learned that I needed to take a giant step back and realize that each culture, each group, each area has its own unique culture. They read things differently. And I've had a few other challenges that I needed to overcome. I uh, did some re-examining of both myself and the culture and developed a plan to address those concerns. And also to make sure that I was still achieving the end goal in mind as well as, uh, as, well as improving myself. First thing I learned was I needed to shut up and listen. I've uh, always known that I have a very dominant goal-focused personality, and sometimes people see it as a bull in a china closet. So I had to step back, listen. Uh, I, I sometimes I, I've noticed, and if you ever watch me sit down, sometimes I, I shake. I had to realize I needed to stop that, and really just sit down and take notes and, and evaluate, which is a person that, again, is highly goal-focused and wants to get the job done. That, take, that took a lot of effort. Second thing, I needed to learn the organizational culture. I couldn't just take things on assumption. Uh, and also I needed to learn the subset of my, my group's culture, which was, I learned, quite different from the overall organizational culture, and I had to connect it to. So I worked on these two things, and over a year, 
I went from being the guy that was unfriendly, who was a spy, who was going to turn us in, to the guy that was their friend, their ally, their advocate, as well as accomplishing the goal, making budgets, making those that were above me happy, and in the end, it just took a matter of listening and evaluating what needed to get done from a cultural standpoint. So communication by language is important, and in any new situation you go in, you can't just go based on assumptions, you can go based on what your gut says, but you also need to stop and listen. So I'd like to take a moment and say thank you, Toastmasters, for listening to me today, and well, here's the floor. All right. So a minute of silence.